It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Stephanie Pratt. You know Stephanie from MTV show The Hills. Lots of fun to watch, but you and your castmates do a lot more than just The Hills, of course. You've been very accomplished in fashion, but you're also focused on animals. And I want to talk to you about that passion of yours. How did you get involved in a passion for animals? You know what? I've grown up with every single pet under the sun. <laughs> I've had like a pet rat, pet nematodes, lizards, everything. And then like, you know, a dog, right. a cat, a horse, right. um, literally everything. I just love animals. And then the older I got, the more informed I got about um, just the mistreatment of animals. Yeah, talk to me about a book that really impacted you. The book is called Saving Gracie by Carol Bradley. Yes, I actually found out about that book in People Magazine. Okay, that's fair um, enough. Well, I read it, my wife reads it, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, great magazine. Uh -huh. um, anyways, it was just like the worst. I already knew how horrible puppy mills were, mm -hmm. but it was kind of like an investigative look into it about just like how these dogs are raped over and over and over again in cages so small until they die. And I want to tell you, Stephanie, we live kind of near each other on the west side of Los Angeles, and there is a pound um, on Sautel and Pico. And in November, my family went and we adopted two cats. Oh. And I have to tell you, we hit the jackpot. Really? The cats are the most loving. We don't want to go on vacation. We love them so much. Oh. So like you, we can get animals at places that aren't part of the puppy mill industry, as you describe it. Yeah, um, actually, even if you're looking for a purebred dog or cat, you can still find them at animal shelters. And it's just, if I can stress anything, it's to not buy from pet stores or breeders because each year, seven million cats and dogs are put into right. extremely crowded animal shelters, and then half of them are euthanized because there's no room for them and there aren't enough homes. And you know, there's this image that if you go to a pound, it's going to be dirty and smelly and messy. The pound I went to in West Los Angeles, I mean, it was immaculate. These animals were precious. I, I, I mean, I, I'm like dying over Aww. my cats and how much I enjoy them. Um, you're also involved in PETA. Yes. Um, which, a bit controversial. Talk to me about that. I mean, you know, it does have its its detractors. Yeah, well, PETA, you know, it's um, an organization to protect animals, and they use the really bold campaigns to get people's attention. And it really isn't for anything other than right. coming from the love of getting attention right. to animals and getting money. So when you donate to organizations like PETA, the Humane Society and Much Love, you're just making it so, you know, millions of animals right. can live. So how are you enjoying your involvement in this? Because it can be very grueling, but it can be very fulfilling at the same time. It's really hard to find a balance because I'm a very sensitive person. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I always keep dog food in my car so when I see homeless people no it because it kills me when you see homeless people with animals and you know if they're I getting know, money I they're know. feeding themselves because they're hungry I went to see cats recently and there was a homeless person right next to the Pantages theater with a dog it, it breaks that, it just, that it, kills me I know, so I know. yeah I do like simple things like that and then just try to spread awareness but it, it's still so hard and I definitely cry about it okay I have to talk to you about uh, other events that cause many people to cry with joy and sorrow and that's the hill Oh yes, <laughs> uh, it is a, a you know a very popular show. How is it for you to be on the program? It's really fun. It's it going to be so cool when I'm older to have this video that diary. That is true. That is true. Yeah. What about the attention? Because fair to say that you know I in your age range, age bracket, I mean you are w out there. I mean everyone knows who you are. How is that for you? The first year was very rough. Mm -hmm. I took criticism um, to heart. And now I'm just enjoying it and not listening to the haters. Good for you. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for um, being a voice for those cats and kittens and dogs. Thank and you for that adopting you that. You love. Uh, for Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. These days, we're all looking for ways to conserve money. At Charter, we're happy to announce a great way to save and get the best services for your home. With the Charter Bundle, you'll get the channels you love and reliability you can count on. Surf the web way faster than with DSL from the phone company. And talk all you want with unlimited local and long-distance calling. All at one low price you can depend on all year long. Call 1-877-SAVE-034 today to get the Charter Bundle, starting as low as $69.97 a month. Call now.